Hey guys, this is going to be the final video of the tutorial series. And um, basically what I'm going to do is, well, what we're going to do is create the search functionality. So how the search functionality is going to work in our case is it's going to be, it's going to consist of column and value pairs. So the type of string we're going to enter is going to be column equals a particular value in that column and then a comma column two equals a particular value and then so on. So this way you can do multiple searches for multiple different columns. What we're going to do is we're going to convert this into a dictionary and then pass that dictionary into the search table, um, into the sorry data table, find values. And then we're going to pass it here accordingly. So then it's going to build out this string and then we're going to run the data frame query on that string. And then we're going to keep doing it until we've gone through all of the columns that the user has listed. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is the entry is basically going to equal self dot search underscore entry box dot get. So we're going to do one thing here. So if entry is blank, so if the entry box is blank, then what we're going to do is we're just going to do self dot data table dot reset table. So we're just going to reset the table so that it shows the um, table in its original state. Okay. Otherwise, we're going to split it. So else entry underscore split is equal to entry dot split. And we're going to split out the columns. So basically, it's going to turn these into lists like so. Oh, like, yeah, it's going to split these into like lists. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get a column underscore value underscore pairs. So this is going to be our empty dictionary and it's going to consist of our column value pairs. So then what we're going to do is for pair in the entry underscore split. So for pair in entry underscore split, we're going to call this variable pair underscore split is equal to pair dot split equal sign. So effectively what that's going to do is it's going to split this on the equal sign. So we're going to have something like this. And then if the length of pair underscore split equals two, so if it's done correctly and there's um, the column and the value, so there's just two um, items in that list, then the column is going to be equal to pair underscore split index zero, as you can see. And the lookup value, lookup underscore value is going to be equal to pair underscore split one. And then column underscore value pairs, the column is basically going to be equal to the lookup value. Cool. And then we do when that's all done, self dot data table dot find underscore value is going to equal pairs is going to equal column value pairs. Okay, it's the dictionary. Yep, so it's going to equal, it's going to take in this dictionary. And then what should happen is, as I mentioned, it's going to go here. It's going to create a new data frame out of the stored data frame. And then for column value in pairs dot items, so for each um, column value that we have, so each column value, remember this is going to be a dictionary, it's then going to build out the query method. Okay, so that should be it for everything. And then let's run and test out our code. Okay, cool. So we're going to go to our downloads and I'm going to select these two and I'm going to select all of these. Now, one of them isn't going to get read in because it's an Excel file. Of course, we can just double click. As you can see, there's the change. So now we're going to implement our search functionality. So again, um, so I've done that, I think, at the beginning. Name equals 
Uh, let's do impex. Um, cool. So that works. Uh, let's try country. So country equals Jap. Cool says our jump Japanese companies. Then let's do name equals TAI. Okay. And let's say corp. Of course, you can do this however you want because the uh, method we're looking at is if it contains this value. So everything containing the letter D. As you can see, of all of the ones we have, these are the ones containing D. And if the country equals U, so if it contains U, United States of America. And of course, if we delete everything and then press enter, it will just return the data frame in this normal um, state. So there you have it, guys. Um, that is it for our CSV viewers. CSV viewer. So now, as I said, um, you can try and get creative and try and maybe build this out with more functionality, maybe create an interface where people can manipulate CSVs for those who don't have Excel or can't afford Excel. Maybe you can create that and then open source it on GitHub. Um, you can do the same with text files and you can just, just use your imagination basically and implement this in it whichever way you want. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And that's pretty much it. Um, just experiment with the debug as well if you want to see more of how the underlying code works. And that's it. So take care.